Hello, welcome to all. In this SAP tutorial, today we are going to discuss very important topic. SAP shortcut keys to save your very important and valuable time at workplace. Okay, so we are going to discuss few shortcut keys to check all the these details. First is Shift plus F3 is log off keys. Uh, frequently you are going to log off and log on. So Shift plus F3, how it works? We are going to check that Shift plus F3. This is Shift key and F3 keys. Okay, do you want to log off? So by using arrow key, you can directly log off or log on. Okay, so this is very important transaction code. Shift plus F3. Fine. Shift plus F3 is for log off. Fine. So next shortcut keys is F5. If when you can when you press F5 keys in your keyboard, then this by using this uh, SAP, you can select all the tables and content available in your uh, SAP screen. You can directly see it. How it works, we can uh, directly see. For example, I'm going to press F5. I'm going to press F5. Okay. To execute any SAP transaction code, you can directly use the keyboard key F8 okay how can it works for example I'm going to uh, enter the transaction code ME2N which is a standard transaction code used uh, in our organization when I'm going to press F8 the system will you can go directly ME2N okay this is a here you can go to ALV okay and uh, supplying plant is 2101 okay and i'm going to get the purchase order details uh, between few dates for example first january 2022 this uh, 20 january 2023 so all the purchase order for the account assignment category a fine so when we are going to uh, press f8 the system will execute the transaction code system will execute the transaction code this is beauty okay system the next shortcut keys is control plus f4 it will generate the ascending order that any values in any table in ascending orders so how it can works we can easily see for example uh, for example there is a values in this tables okay in quantity tables okay i just want to arrange this is at ascending value so you can directly select this column and press what press control plus f4 control plus f4 i'm just pressing control plus f4 C system will generate the details in the sending orders. Fine. System will generate the details in the sending orders. So hope you think this is very useful key. Okay. Now uh, next key is control plus shift plus F7. Control plus shift plus F7. I'm just going to press this seat. Control plus shift plus F7 yes system will generate this excel in mstml format mstml format see you can directly generate the control spreadsheet of any report control plus shift plus f7 and you will directly get this option uh, excel in mstml format you can can click on the continue you can click on this continue report
you can uh, export this report for example uh, i'm just going to name sap report okay so we sap reports we can directly click on the save okay allow allow again system system has generated the report in microsoft excel format okay see see this is very uh, standard report we can uh, we have generated in the excel formats okay so depending on the filter criteria you can utilize this report okay next standard uh, shortcut keys is control plus f5 is apply filter criteria on any table apply filter criteria on any table so we are going to do this in practical manner i'm going to select on the quantity okay i'm going to select on the quantity and click on the control plus f5 control plus f5 see this is automatically generated that uh, or in order units okay in order units quantity fine see i'm, I'm just selecting the quantity that uh, 0 0.5 to 1.5 okay the system will generate the report uh, for which the order quantity is 0 0.5 to 1.5 and i'm clicking on this enter okay and click you can directly press the f8 button okay see system has generated all the quantity between 0 0.5 to 1.5 one quantity is 0 0.5 and another quantity is upper limit is 1.5 and lower limit is 0 0.5 so system has generated the report based on the filter criteria this is a very important transaction uh, shortcut keys okay and another one is shift plus f9 when we are going to post any document in sap then uh, you can uh, simulate first that document to get if proper entries there are not prop generally the finance person uh, when they are going to do in, when they are going to post any entry in sap uh, basically one gl to another gl entry they are simply simulate the transactions okay and control plus s is post key when you are going to post anything then you can simply press this control plus s key then you can simply post okay for example if you want to create your favorite menu so you can uh, because we have created a folder of this order here and uh, if you want to insert any transaction code here then you can uh, for example we have inserted uh, three four transaction codes like uh, create purchase order change purchase order display purchase order release purchase order uh, message output for print of any purchase order and purchase order by purchase number general analysis of the purchase order and uh, purchase orders for projects okay i'm just going to save one more transaction code uh, we when we are going to do good receipt against purchase order mizo that is uh, good receipt against purchase orders so uh, this uh, favorite menu is added in our here and that is a good movement okay so you can easily for example if i am going to add one more uh, transaction code in our folder so uh, mb90 to get the message output of our good receipt document and good issue document so if you are going to insert uh, any folder you can easily insert for example, SAP, SAP, uh, PO, and for example, we have created uh, any separate folders, so you can uh, insert the menu. For example, I'm just going to insert the menu in the good domain in SAP PO, so you can drag and drop down here, and uh, MB90 is here. So, okay. In SAP PO, you can uh, uh, insert the transaction code like this MI0 and MB90 is this. So you can hide these things. Okay. So by this, the way you can directly uh, 
create your SAP favorites menu and SAP favorites transaction codes. You can create your own folder for your helping purpose. Okay. And uh, one more uh, short tip is this. you can uh, also follow the SAP menu path for the moments if you don't do not know the SAP transaction codes. For example, in material management, uh, you can purchasing. You can directly go in the purchase orders. ME twenty one create display maintain supplements and all. For example, the release. These are the individual release and collective release. And for the reporting purpose, you have lots of transaction code. ME eighty F and ME ME eighty one ME eighty two ME two ME two A. So various options you have. And for the purchase requisitions like this. So you can also explore the SAP menu part for more and more work in SAP. Hope you think this is useful SAP tutorial for you to save lots of time at the workplace. If you think this is useful tutorial, please like this SAP tutorial and uh, do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more and more latest SAP video updates. This tutorial we have created for training and understanding purpose. Our main objective is to knowledge sharing. Because uh, at the workplace, when you save lots of time, lots of time, a very important time uh, at workplace, you can utilize that time in more and more works. Okay, so please share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues, because knowledge sharing is gearing. Okay, and uh, hope you enjoy this training sessions. Okay. Thank you. We will see and meet in another tutorial. Okay. Have a great day. Happy learning.